We have new information on the firefighter who died in the line of duty yesterday in St. Mary's County. His name was Bryce Trosback. He was only 25 years old and a career firefighter. News first, Sean Yancey has more now on his life and legacy. Sean? On this is such a sad story. Bryce Trosback's body arrived in Leonardtown in the last hour, but not before a final salute from his colleagues along the way. Chopper 4 captured these images there of the procession taking him back to Leonardtown. Trossback was a four-year veteran assigned to Naval Air Station Patuxent River. St. Mary's County officials say he started as a volunteer firefighter when he was just a teenager following in his father's footsteps. Today, Maryland Governor Wes Moore announced flags be flown at half-staff in Trossback's honor. The fallen firefighters captain today spoke about the dangers that public servants face. He said in part, we are reminded of the tremendous risks our firefighters face each shift to keep our installation and our community safe. They put their lives on the line without hesitation, demonstrating remarkable bravery and commitment to the well-being of others. We are forever grateful for their service and their sacrifice. Trussback responded to the house fire at a home on Deerwood Park Drive in Leonardtown Tuesday morning. The flames reduced the house to a pile of ash and rubble. He fell through the floor, got trapped under the debris and died. The homeowner and neighbors believe a lightning strike may have sparked that fire. They reported hearing a loud boom before those flames erupted. And that is the very latest, guys. Back to you. Definitely a loss for the community. Thank Sean you. Yancey.